All right, guys. This is Rob's Bone Stock Magnum Head. Comes with 1.92 intakes, 1.625 exhaust, 8 millimeter stems. At some point, somebody put thin wall bronze guides in here. It is cracked. <laughs> the only one I opened up was cracked. You can see it's got pretty wide seats on it. Doesn't matter to Rob. This is uh, this is a throw together motor, so I don't blame him. <laughs> as long as they don't leak water, I would run them on a junk engine too. Now, what I think is interesting is some of the design changes that went from the earlier L LA head to the 302 head to this head is very interesting if you pay attention to things. So I took the uh, LA360 head and I put it right next to it. We're going to take some measurements. We're going to take some looks at what they look like stock. And uh, I did uh, my flow tests with it completely stock. I did have to take a little carbon out of the exhaust because there was a big chunk in a couple spots. So I just ran my dullest burr over it just to knock the carbon out to make it as close as you can to what it should be. But I think it's interesting what, what we've got with the Dicom. Take a look. Very, very similar to my ported 360, right? Not that much different, really. I think my ported 360 is a little better. But notice the bone stock valve does not have a back cut that I can see. It looks... It looks straight to me. It looks like a big wide 45 to me. And if you can see on the chamber, let's see if we can get some other extra light there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we definitely have, you've got blue right, right along this edge right here, almost like a shearing edge. The Dicom on the bore is quite a bit different because they are attacking the short side way differently on a Magnum head. It's really interesting what they did. The LA is going to have a big, a big blue mark here. Okay, this is really hitting the corner with the Dicom. Coming right out, hitting that corner with the Dicom. Right here. Even though we don't get any on the chamber here, that's what it did on the bore. Okay, you can see from the factory they gave it uh, a, a nice three angle valve job. Okay, the top is a wide, probably 20 degree, and the 45, and probably something like a 60. You can see the short side radius. Very wide, straight 60, and then an edge. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Okay. Now take a look at the LA. It's not tremendously different, to be honest. But the LA has got that long guide that I can't stand. Look what they did with the guide here. Stubby. The way it should be. Stubby. And the back of the guide, they rounded it a little bit. This is completely square. Okay? All right. Let's take a look at the widths. Okay, maybe a little tough to show you guys. That's how much different you have in width. So the Magnum Bowl is definitely a wider bowl. There's no question about it. It also is designed for a bigger valve, right? The 360 comes with a 188. The Magnum comes with a 1.92. So that makes sense. Damn pause button got me again. Sorry, guys. Do that again. You can see how much difference we have in the bowl. Which makes sense because the Magnum's got a bigger valve, right? 192 versus 188. So I would expect it to have a little bit bigger bowl. 
Okay, the LA short side is radically different than the Magnum. Let me measure how wide this is and then I'll show you the Magnum. Okay, this may not be the easiest for me to get. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know, a quarter of an inch difference. Huge, huge difference. Take a look how far, first of all, the straight wall does not have that huge bulge. Okay, it's all squared off. And the center of the cylinder comes way over now. All right, let's take a look at this. Let me bring the light back over. Now, this is an opposite port. I, I should have been doing the same port, but you can see what I mean. Look at the, how, how much further over that straight wall, right? Straight wall is on our left. Look at how that comes way over into the middle of the bowl, practically. There's definitely airflow to be gained by straightening that out. Okay, now the pinch is tall and very narrow. The, the LA is way wider. We'll show you that. That's the difference in the top of the pinch. They have this necked way, way down here. I lost my adjustment there. That's how much difference we have. Probably about an eighth of an inch. Let's measure the height. The height is almost the same. The Magnum is just a touch taller. But what's really interesting is... Let me see if I can move the light around to so get a better look at this wall. It's hard to see, but the short side radius, which is the the top, flares way out. Way, way out. You can see the short side radius moved way over. So, not only does it have more area at the pinch at the bottom, they have it flaring way out. Now, why would they do that? We'll leave that as a, as a question in, uh, in the comments. But I think it's quite interesting. Quite telling. Sorry, guys. Okay, you can see on the straight wall, that corner is much squarer than the LA. Let's take a look at that. I know it's much harder to see because it's covered in carbon, eats up all my light, but you can see that big bulge they have in that short side radius. Okay, I think this is a very cool feature. It has a floor vane. Now, what do you guys think a floor vane does? And it's hard to see, but that's right in the middle of the short side radius. So that short side goes way over. Interesting. I've done some floor vane uh, ports, and if they're designed right, they really work well. Very interesting. Very, uh, very modern compared to the LA, which is just flat. Okay, same view of the floor. It's dirty stock LA, completely, completely plain flat, short side radius. Now the chambers use totally different technology. And uh, there's a couple things I would probably change on the Magnum chamber. This is a little too flat, right? I actually like this a little bit better. It's not quite as flat. And I would probably have this scalloped out a little bit. A little bit right here, like I do on the Fuley heads. I would probably change that a little bit. I would definitely have this filled in some more around this exhaust. Okay, it's got a nice quench right up here. All right, heart shape, beautiful. It's all good. It's definitely a huge step up from this open chamber. Probably the only thing I like better about this chamber is this curve right here. That's about it. 
because when you're coming out, right, that's probably one of the reasons it has a very flat top angle, like a 20, is they're bending the air to match that flat part of that chamber there. I would much rather have a steeper top cut and have it blend right into more of a curved chamber, but as it is, this is light years ahead of the old LA chamber. Much faster burn. And it definitely has a little bit different spark plug angle. Okay, the LA short side radius on the exhaust. Ugh. We know, we know it's a problem. Take a look at how much different the Magnum is. It's an absolute thing of beauty compared to the stock LA. Okay, it's curved the right way. It's got a decent shape. It's way smaller. Wait a minute, Charlie, short, smaller isn't good. Yeah, well, actually on an exhaust, it is good. Remember, this head's only designed to go, what, 4,500 RPM? And you'll see when we get to the flow curves, the way it's designed, I bet works really well in the stocker. I think I've only been in maybe one or two of these Magnum uh, headed 360s. Lots of grunt for a 360 cube motor. Lots of grunt. Okay, night and day difference on the Magnum exhaust versus the LA exhaust. Night and day. Let's do a width on it. The width here is almost the same. Let's take a look at the height difference. That's how much they raised it. Almost a quarter of an inch, I'd say. Huge difference. And as far as bowl width, that's the difference in the bowl width. The LA has got a much tighter bowl. These are important things. Much tighter bowl than the Magnum. All right, so you had to give it some area somewhere. You took up a lot of area with that filling in that short side radius. You got to make it wider to get the gases out. This is a, a so much of a better design. It's not even funny. Huge difference. Huge amount of torque and horsepower gained with this improved exhaust port. Looks awfully dark. Hold on. All right, I think that's better. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. Bone stock J. Intake, exhaust, swirl. Bone stock magnum. Intake, exhaust, swirl. Let me do my uh, pluses and minuses for you. Okay, all the pluses and minuses we're looking at are on this sheet. Okay, plus, 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 minus, minus, plus. If this maxed out at 215.5. This maxed out at 211. And uh, the stock cam was only four something on, on like a Durango or something. I don't know exactly what it was, but it was not a high lift. So that makes sense, doesn't it, guys? Take a look at the swirl curve. Swirl curve is much better, I think, because this... This needs something by four, 400 lift, and it really doesn't have a whole lot. All right, so it has a nice progression up. I like it. As far as the swirl, plus, 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 minus, plus. Now, there is absolutely no competition at all between exhaust ports. This is, this is a massacre. Plus, plus, plus everywhere. Look at how much different they are. I mean, at 500, 141. Versus 166. You put a pipe on it. That only went up a little bit, 154. Because this is a smaller uh, exhaust, I put the bigger. I put the same size pipe on it for a compass comparison. It flows almost 200, completely stock. You probably put a good valve job on it in the radius. That port will probably go 200 CFM. That's really, really nice. Let's do our airspeed numbers. Okay, our airspeed numbers. Push rod pinch. Verse push rod pinch. Minus equals plus. Okay. 
You got to remember, this has got a way tighter pinch. And it was measured at 500 lift. 500 lift. Okay, this is moving. This is moving more air. Okay, so those numbers totally make sense to me. Take a look at our roof. Center of cylinder went down a touch. Cylinder wall. 213 verse 184. Much lower here. And I'll give you my opinion on why that is. You know what? Leave that for a question. You guys can answer me that. Why is the roof so much different? Oh, and here's the answer right here. Take a look at those. All right, fast, fast, fast. Much slower. Why would they be much slower? Because they made the short side radius that much wider. All right? Okay. And the, the exhaust is interesting. If you take a look at the air speeds on the exhaust, you got to remember this is a much smaller outlet. So you would expect all of the numbers to be up, but it doesn't work that way, right? 290, 321, 248 verse, 243, 298, 233, minus, 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 260, 270, 173. 277, 256, 127, plus, minus, minus. 192, 133, 94. That corner's dead, right? 285, 321, 270, plus, plus, plus. This part of the port is really working quite well. The only relatively low spot is that one spot in the center, which a lot of exhaust ports have, right? Now, think about it. Much, it's only faster in four of my little blocks here, right? And it's a much smaller port that's moving more air. So it is way more efficient. All right, guys, 17 minutes and change. I should probably see CDs, but I really don't want to. Somebody research and tell me exactly how many CCs we've got in the LA 360 head versus this Magnum head. According to what I can see, I, mean, I didn't even show you this view. Let's, let's get some different light on this. Okay, not the best with the lighting. Let's see if I can use two hands to give you some light because I'm not having any luck, really. But notice how thin that port is, and then it really fans out for that short side radius. really neck down, and then comes into that wide bowl. You know what else it doesn't have? It doesn't have that bump on the, in the, the, the straight wall roof. That's gone. Oh, that makes sense too, doesn't it? All right, guys, I'm completely wiped out on Friday. <sighs> Hope I didn't goof this up too much. My pause button was sticking, but... We got it done. I'm going to put these back together for uh, for Rob. Thank uh, thank him so much for letting uh, letting us take a look at these. And it's an interesting comparison between you know the more modern cylinder head versus the uh, much older designs. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.